I'm Alex Wardle, Theatre Consultant for Charcoal Blue. Chichester Festival Theatre is a project I've been working on for the last four years. Today we have the ABTT visit and also a discussion panel featuring people who have worked in the building over the years, actors, writers, directors, designers and lighting designers. We bring them together to discuss the work that they've made over the last 50 years and hear from the current uh, artistic director and technical manager um, about what it's like to work in the building now. Um, but he was standing next to Lawrence Olivier when he walked in at the back of Stratford, Ontario. He'd come up from Toronto, he was playing in Beckett, and he'd just time to go and look at the theatre and go back to do a show in the evening. And he, according to my informant who was standing next to him, he came in and looked around and he said, the stage is too small. Uh, hi there, my name's Sam. I'm a technical coordinator and head of lighting for the Chichester Festival Theatre. I've uh, been here about 19 years, starting out as an assistant lighting technician. Uh, and seen the building through lots of changes, none more exciting than this. Uh, the improvement to the infrastructure uh, and to the the things we can offer designers now, uh, the capabilities that we can support are amazing. Um, from, from a demountable stage to uh, six tonnes of weight loading in the roof, uh, none of which we could have achieved before. So um, amazing improvements technically to the building. Because with cinema and television, you know, we're getting used to very, very fluid, quick visual messages. Of course, the thrust stage demands a certain level of physical engagement with it that a proscenium doesn't have to. You're forced into making decisions that I think are fundamentally easier to connect with as a, as a modern audience. Right, so my name's Jack Stedman. I'm with Imperial College Dramatic Society, so I'm a full-time student doing some technical theatre work on the side. Uh, I'd never been to Chichester Festival Theatre before. I'd seen some of their transfers to the West End, but I'd never seen this theatre with this the unique thrust stage. Uh, so I'm just really impressed that it's managed to be kept throughout the renovations. Uh, it sounds like they've, uh, they've done quite a lot with the above stage stuff, especially the lighting, the lighting balconies, the walkways above stage. It's being able to get up there quickly uh, and tinker about with anything at a moment's notice. Fully, it's a fully thrust stage and being able to see from anywhere in the auditorium what's going on. The goods lift is phenomenal. Uh, I've never seen anything quite like that being able to get these enormous pieces of set straight in off the back of a truck uh, and then straight into onto the stage basically and then having space to store and deal with yeah, that. Some, some uh, I've seen a lot of big theatres that just don't have anything like that uh, whereas this, this, is, this is incredible. We've just finished an absolutely amazing day at Chichester Festival Theatre where we've had the opportunity to look around every crevice and cranny of the new renewed theatre itself and this afternoon we've been listening to reminiscences and discussions about theatre that's been made here since 1961 and will continue to be made here on into the future. Um, it's been a fantastic day and all of the people here have enjoyed themselves immensely and also been stimulated about what good theatre is and how it will continue to be produced.